Okay, these are all of the body sprays that I have left. I am super happy that I have narrowed it down to this. Uh, quite honestly, in a perfect world, I wouldn't have more than two. I used to be really into using the body sprays, but I, I wasn't using perfume at the time, and now I've gotten into using perfume. So unless there's like a special scent that I want, I don't think I would be buying um, body sprays in the future, but I will admit that probably more than half of these I got completely free. So starting with the miniature ones, I've got this uh, Forever Red Vanilla Rum. I have my recent edition, which I'm really loving, which is the Pink Lemonade Fizz. I'll probably spray this on myself. The rest I probably will use for uh, like car sprays or rim sprays. Pink Chiffon, this came with the uh, miniature that my student gave me. I got a little set. Uh, I've got my Country Chic right here. And then I have, this is an old packaging. This is the Moonlight Path. I don't know what Bath & Body Works was thinking when they made these. These aren't like pretty bottles. I don't know what they were going for, but I'm not a fan of this packaging. Uh, I've got one Victoria's Secret spray. This is in Romantic Wish. I've got this, this is an old spray. This is Fresh Vanilla. I have French Lavender and Honey. Uh, are we surprised? See this one again. This is the Violet Lily Sky. I have to admit, I have not been obsessed with a fragrance in a long time the way I'm obsessed with this. I literally have this in every part of my collection. The only thing I don't have this in is a body scrub. That's because I already used it. But I just love this scent and I went ham on it. If they ever bring it back, especially in scrubs, I would really stock up on it. I've got the Paris Amour scent. And then lastly, I have one of the Forever Reds. I think this packaging is really pretty with the bow uh, and whatnot. So these are all of my body sprays. And if everything works out in 2016, I will use all of these up except for two.